This morning we're here with Wayne Dirkman, and Wayne is the owner and an operator of Quality Circuits here in Fergus Falls. So I want to thank you, Wayne, for joining us this morning. And first of all, Wayne, can you tell us a little bit, what does Quality Circuits do? What are I know you're a manufacturer, and I'd like you to just describe your product a bit. All right, yes, we manufacture uh, printed wiring boards for the uh, medical industry, for the uh, agricultural industry, uh, instrumentation. Uh, anybody that does something electronics is usually built on a printed wiring board. Okay, so you actually manufacture the board right here in Fergus Falls? Uh, yes, yes. Uh, we have uh, about 105 employees, and uh, we've been here 22 years. Uh, uh, started as a, a, a part of the original uh, Project 500 uh, with Fergus Falls when they they uh, had the medallion fire. Mm -hmm. They needed to replace 500 jobs, and the goal was in 500 days, and uh, we were a product of that. Oh, I see. How how did you start, Wayne? Did did you always have it in your mind to own your own business, or what led you to make this decision? And did you start all alone, or did you have an employee or two right away? Uh, basically, I started alone. The, uh, I've always been in manufacturing management, and uh, I've always believed that if you treated people right, you could uh, be a lot more successful than the old mode where the manager was responsible for everything, and uh, you know you had to browbeat people to get work done. Where I thought if you could get them self-motivated, they would do it, and my job be easier. W what year did you start, Wayne? 1988. Uh, in your own building, or no? We were in the uh, village incubator building, and uh, one of the unique things that uh, Fergus did is they put together a loan pool program, where the money we borrowed uh, was shared between ten different institutions, and the we were able to create a business for the uh, price of a used car loan. So you started by yourself, and then tell me, how did it evolve to being 105 employees and making products that you likely ship all over the country and probably the world? Yeah, basically, we, you know, we start with one account, and, and part of uh, when you go in, in your own business, you have to have friends. And uh, you need people, that, you know, the most important thing is somebody has to get an order. Uh, a lot of people could build things, uh, but somebody has to sell it. And uh, somebody has to have confidence in you that you will deliver it. And uh, and it, if you do it right, it'll continue to grow. No, we gradually uh, ramped up, you know, maybe a couple people per month. Uh, what we do is, is we built on each account, uh, uh, took care of the account properly to grow, meet their needs, and then move on to another. We call them partnerships with our customers. And, we still have basically every customer we started with 22 years ago. What do you feel has been the biggest risk uh, involved with your business, Wayne? Uh, you know, it, it, risk of getting into business is a, is a risk, but uh, an entrepreneur really, if he's going to be successful, you pre-calculate the risk. Uh, you don't take a big risk. You, you uh, move into a project or whatever uh, when you know you can be 99% sure of succeeding. So. Uh, the only risk is uh, just doing it. Do you have a certain philosophy about your employees, Wayne? And, and how do you feel that um, Quality Circuits has affected their lives? You know, the uh, the philosophy, one of the reasons I want to go into business and, and test the philosophy, too, uh, of treating people right, um, what we do is if you take the typical management pyramid where the boss is at the top, and the lowly workers at the bottom, uh, what you have to do is is flip that over. And the most important guy in the equation is the guy building products, the worker. So if you look at it from the bottom, the manager has to look rather than from the, from the top down, he has to look up to the guy producing product and say, what can I do to help you do it better uh, more efficiently, at lower cost, safer, and uh, flip that pyramid over. Sometimes in today's environment, uh, they make profit sound like a bad word, or like uh, you know, profits are just huge and they're all on Wall Street and whatever. Tell me, what does profit mean to you and in a business your size? 
Yeah, you know, it, it, it makes everything possible. Without it, we wouldn't exist. The, uh, you know, some of the things that we try to do is, is we share it with our employees and uh, on a monthly basis, and they're aware of uh, their performance, the product they build, uh, and uh, the rewards are there. So we're really all, like, we try to make everybody an entrepreneur. Mm -hmm. So the people aren't working for me, we're all working for the customer to build a better product and uh, lower the cost. And uh, that's been one of the reasons we're still here and succeeded for 22 years. What do you think Quality Circuits has meant to the community of Fergus Falls, how have you impacted the community here? You know, I guess uh, that's <laughs> not really my call, but uh, yeah, we try to, to have the best employees we can, and, and uh, you know, everybody generally has a family to feed, and uh, and uh, they all want to drive a nice car, and uh, we try to make it as successful as we can. One of the secrets of my success was really Dale Carnegie. And, uh, yeah, so. Did you take that years ago as a young person or recently? You know, I, I, uh, I had a buddy that uh, was brave enough to go start his own business, and he attributed that to him. He gave me his books, and uh, and they're just principles of dealing with people and how to get along with people and uh, and uh, little confidence builders, and uh, it has an impact, yeah. You run this business in the free enterprise system of America. What does America mean to you, Wayne? Uh, America is in trouble. American, uh, we face it every day with the movement of jobs to China. Uh, we need to, everything's based on cost. And products will always find the lowest cost. Um, so we need to uh, find ways to do that, to work together, um, to get rid of the government burden. You know, our, we can compete with China, but we're getting to the point we can't compete with our government with all the regulations and the costs that they're adding and health uh, cost, and um, we've become our own worst enemy. And uh, so if we're going to stay in business, provide jobs in America, grow jobs, um, we got to get the government off our back and uh, get a better future. When you started this business of printed circuit boards, what made you think that printed circuit boards were something that was needed in the economy and that was something that you knew how to do? Could anyone have done that? What was unique about your background? Yeah, okay. So basically, I, I had electronics in the military. And then from there, I uh, got out. And at that point, uh, a division of General Motors was making these rockets, uh, the guidance systems for rockets. Uh, and we really were pioneers in, in the industry. And uh, from there, we broke off, uh, started a company in Milwaukee. And uh, from there, about three or more companies after. And, okay. uh, so did you have any formal education in it, or was it education through the military? Uh, it, it comes out of the world of electronics. Um, and uh, the real early beginnings was experimentation and finding ways to get things done and um, developing the processes. Uh, at one time, uh, we actually used to put molasses in a tank as a grain refiner for plating, which nobody knew what it was, or but it did work because it was an organic material which acted as a brightener in the plating tank. And uh, so it kind of evolved from there. And uh, like everything else, all the industries are improving. And you know now we use lasers, and we can do things in thousands of an inch. Where at that time, it was, could we do it at all? I noticed that you hire several engineers now to engineer your product. It, was that always the case? Uh, yes. We, you know, one of the key uh, engineers um, is, uh, is you got to have chemical people because we plate chemistries and the circuits are etched. And uh, so we get mechanical engineers because we, it's a, it's a variety of uh, uh, different disciplines. Uh, we have machining. We have uh, drilling. Uh, the graphic arts, uh, uh, so design engineers. Now we have electrical engineers, chemical engineers, mechanical engineers, uh, industrial engineers. Uh, you know, it's an industrial setting. Did you ever work just a 40-hour week? Uh, no. No, I, then that's one of the things about an entrepreneur, basically. Uh, if you love to work, I love to work. I'm retired, but now I can do what I want to do, which is work. So... <laughs> 
I'll, wear, I'll dye my boots on. Of the, the customers that you've kept all the life of this business, where are those customers? Where are, Where is this product going to? One of our largest customers is John Deere. Uh, most people would be surprised to see that uh, basically almost 100% of their electronics are built here in Fergus Falls, you know, where we have people driving around in John Deere's. Uh, but they're a high-quality company. They're very uh, demanding quality and service. Um, and uh, our name is Quality Circuits. Uh, we use the tools to make better quality product. And uh, for six years in a row, we have uh, achieved a partnership rating with John Deere. And out of uh, thousands of world wide suppliers uh, for John Deere. Last year we were number one. Of the the customers that you've kept all the life of this business, where are those customers? Where are th- Where is this product going to? One of our largest customers is John Deere. Uh, most people would be surprised to see that uh, basically almost 100% of their electronics are built here in Fergus Falls, you know, where we have people driving around in John Deere's. Uh, but they're a high-quality company. They're very uh, demanding quality and service. Um, and uh, our name is Quality Circuits. Uh, we use the tools to make better quality product. And uh, for six years in a row, we have uh, achieved a partnership rating with John Deere. And out of uh, thousands of worldwide suppliers uh, for John Deere, Last year, we were number one. Another major market segment for us is the medical field. Uh, We make a a lot of product for for Johnson & Johnson. Uh, We make a line of of products for harmonic scalpels, which are used in in, uh, surgeries, uh, where you can take a a harmonic scalpel and cut off a blood vessel, seal it, and cut at the same time. So they call it a bloodless surgery. So we work closely with the... with the engineers at these companies to develop circuitry that fits and works and uh, uh, and that's growing so as they get projects new new knives and and so forth we're involved in early development and uh, manufacture what kind of investment do you have in your equipment can we ask wayne uh, yes we have over 20 million dollars worth of machinery invested uh, and uh, we like to say it's paid for so <laughs> We're selfish about our, our money. We don't give it to the banks. We, <laughs> yeah. we reinvest it. How's the economy affecting you? Uh, right now, we've had two big big growth peaks and two dips, one in 2000 and then the last one. And uh, at each time, we were forced to cut back on hours and lay people off, which I don't like to do. Um, but uh, right now, we're, we're maintaining, and uh, we hope to, at the very minimum, do that. Yeah.